Hey folks, it's Ozzy here. Today, we're gonna to figure out how much a concrete pipe weighs given the dimensions that we've been provided. For anyone who wants a longer, more detailed video, click the link in the description below and you'll find it. It goes for a lot longer than this video is going to go for. All right, get yourself a calculator. Um, so we have our dimensions here, 1.6 meter outside radius, 1.4 meter inside radius, and our length is three meters. Now, if a load ever comes to site on the back of a truck and there's no consignment note, or there's no delivery docket, or there's no weighbridge notes, you've just got this load and you've got to lift it, you're gonna need to find out how much it weighs. This is how you do it. To get the tape measure out and get your dimensions, we found our dimension is 1.6 meter outside radius, we found our inside dimension is 1.4 meter radius and it's 3 meters long. Grab yourself the calculator, first thing we want to do is follow our four part formula, diameter divided by 2 equals our radius. So we've got two radiuses here, that's 1.6 by 2 is going to give you 0 0.8. That's your outside radius. And then 1.4 divided by two equals 0 0.7. Write this down on a piece of paper. It'll help you make sense of how to do this calculation. So that's outside, that's inside. We need to do these twice. So that's the first part of our formula. Now we want to do the second part. We want to square our radius, multiply it by pi, and then multiply it by length, and that'll give us our volume. Write it out on the piece of paper before you do it into the calculator is my recommendation. So we want to do this twice for our outside and inside uh, radiuses. First of all, I'll start with our out equals 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 3.142 times three is our length, is gonna give us our outside volume. Now let's do it for our inside volume. That's 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times pi, 3.142 times our length of three equals. Now you're gonna enter it into the calculator the exact same way we've done this. Don't press the equals button until you've put four sets of numbers in. So 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 8 times 3.142 times 3 equals 6.032. Let's just say it's 6.032. Don't round any of these numbers. Outside volume equals 6.032. All right, now let's find out what our inside volume is. Let's do the same thing again, but for our inside uh, dimension. 0 0.7 times... 0 0.7 times pi, 3.142 times length of 3 meters equals 4.618. Inside volume equals 4.618. Again, don't round these numbers. Now we want to do our third part of our formula. We want to subtract our inside volume away from our outside volume. So I'm just going to rub these bits out here. If you need to rewind the video to find out how I got these numbers then do so. 6.032, take 4.618. 6.032, take 4.618. is gonna give me 1.414. 1.414. We've just completed the third part of our formula, which has given us our total volume. So remember that there's all this air in the middle of the pipe. We want to find out what our total volume is here. Okay, so there our total volume, which is measured in cubic meters, is 1.414 cubic meters of concrete. Now, how much does a single cubic meter of concrete weigh? 2.4 tons. So the final and easiest part of our concrete pipe formula, number four, is our volume, multiply it by our mass. So volume, 1.414 times 2.4 equals 1.414 times 2.4 equals 3.3936. 3.3936 ton. If you multiplied that by 2,400, you'd be multiplying it by kilos. That would not be incorrect. It would be exactly the same, except you would have 3,393.6 kilograms. 
Okay, so there it is, folks. That's how you work out how much a concrete pipe weighs. If you've learned something or you enjoy this video, please leave a like. If you've got some feedback for me, please put it in the comments below and I'll see how I go about making another one that's clear and more concise and easier for you to understand. All right, I wanna be the best of the best. I wanna train the best of the best. So you folks need to help me help you. All right, see you on the next one.